It's topic discussion time. Let's talk about how we train these pets. It's a little bit different than what you might expect. Hello guys, my name is Eddie. Welcome back to another video here on this channel. If you guys are enjoying it, click the like button and click the subscribe. There's more videos where this has come from. I have three main things to talk about today. Number one, how to deal with negative behavior. When your dog doesn't behave correct, what is the one thing you're going to do? And what's the one thing I still do, but I'm trying to learn to stop? Have a guess. Shout, scream, tell your dog off. Worst case scenario, hit your dog. Never, never, never hit your dog. It's one of the worst things you could possibly do. The best thing to teach your dog to behave and not respond and understand that the thing that they were doing or the thing that they are doing is not correct is to complete and utterly ignore them. One of the best places to do is to cross your arms, look in a completely different direction, duck your head down. Look in a point of disappointment. That method of disappointment, crossing your arms, looking away and not paying any attention to your dog, definitely don't make eye contact, is one of the most strongest, powerful things your dog can understand. You've got to think dog to get your dog to behave like a dog. It's something that I still struggle with even to this day. If someone walked about in that hallway right this second and the dog started barking, going crazy, which it does happen, then what do I do? I have a knack of screaming and shouting. I need to stop that. Just understand, nope, pay no attention, look away, are looking no i'm not happy with this i'm not continuing and make sure you pay no attention to your dog while they're doing an auto behavior on the contrary to that as soon as they look at you make any sort of eye contact with you as soon as they've snapped out of that behavior the best thing for you to do is to go yes treat straight into the mouth number two treats food what is best for your pet Treats. It's something we all give to our dogs. Could be a little bit of a tidbit of the table, or it could be, you know, those goody goody bags from, you know, your pet store. How much do you think you spend on that roughly a month? For me, it used to be a lot, but now I don't spend near as much. That's because I now do a mix of their own kibble or their own dry food that I have, and that's usually Gems Well Beloved grain free type biscuit. And I also go for one of their high value treats. Now, this could be chicken, turkey, or ham. These type of objects and these type of items mixed in together into a bag and maybe a bit of olive oil just to, you know, make the scents come out and the taste come out even more richer will make your dog behave brilliantly. And I'll tell you what, it will save you a ton of money money in the long run. By the time I've done a bag, that bag usually lasts me about a week. The bag has all the biscuits in that I just top up from, you know, the latest bag that I've got of dog food. And I just put it and I just tear up the chicken into about pea size items of chicken. All it needs to be. You get anything bigger, you're overfeeding your dog. And that's what's making a lot of our dogs a little bit overweight. It's something I was doing at first. But now I've changed into this one. It's a lot more easier. The other thing I've done is change my dog's diet. Bruno, who's the one at the back there, he's the one who has needed a bit of training. He's a Romanian rescue dog and he's one of my favorite breeds. I tell you what, I would never swap him out for anything in the world. But recently his behavior wasn't the best behavior that you could possibly want and it really didn't help. So I changed him over to a grain free wet diet. A lot of them is, is given to me by butchers. Now butchers are not sponsoring me for this video. Hey, if butchers want to sponsor me for, you know, my dog food, DMs are open, send me a message but really is appreciated. But either way, I'm sticking with that food. I put it into their food. I give them the majority of that with a bit of kibble on top just to add a bit of crunch and keep their teeth, you know, still active. And that has really helped get myself and get these dogs in a much better environment and also means that their testosterone levels inside them are not above and beyond. Their arousement levels, you know, to normal everyday adventures are not as what they used to be. It's a lot more calm. And I have noticed a significant change over the last six weeks. Now, this has been in comparison with a couple of other things, including sniff trails, mat training, sit training, dog stay training. Uh, you can do okay training and yes training. There's many different types of commands that you can give to your dog that can really help you. And this can really help you build your bond between you, the owner, and your dog. And building the bond means that you've got a little bit more of a trustworthy dog rather than, you know, be scared and pulling out your ears. Now, I did follow a lot of these people online who said this is how you train your dog. In the best thing, go find a behaviorist that is closest to you that you can recommend. For me, that's Fern Amber at Thinking Dog. Number three, our favorite one, commands getting your dog to actually do stuff.
put the t things behind my behind my back. As soon as he looks at me, yes, 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 yes. Now, yes has to be one command. This is one command that whenever you see this, a treat goes straight into the dog's mouth. And it's something they absolutely love. And as you can see, my hands are full of oil and grease. That's because of the olive oil that we put into our treat bag earlier on. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab out a couple more. Now, the difference with this is that this is going to be okay training. So the difference now is gonna look at me, okay. And I'm gonna chuck down a treat on the floor. It's gonna come back to me. Look at me, okay. Chuck down on the floor. Look at me, okay. Chuck down on the floor, yes. Yes. And then always show the all done symbol, which is usually a wave of hands in front of each other. And that's it. It's a simple command, something you can do with your dog to really help them adjust to things. Now, this is something that we've just started doing. It's called mat training. I have a little bit of a carpet down here. So I'm going to now do something. Let's see, draw on the mat. Yes, you draw on the mat. Yes. There's a foot on the mat, which is exactly what I want. It's come off. Let's see. Sit. Yes. Now one of my favorite ones is down. Down. And all the way down and let them take the food out of your hand. Simple thing, just let them take it out of your hand. It's really, really helpful. So here's another one. Down. And that is something that really helps me train my dogs and just get them to understand what I'm wanting them to do. So the way I'm gonna do this is the first one, you chuck near to them. Five, chuck down there. Four, four, three, put it up onto the bed so he jumps up on the bed. Make sure I get the last couple. Usually I'll come back down, good boy. Two, take him even further. Get him away as further as you possibly can do. Really does help when you do that. One. That's just gone on my pillow. Has he managed to get that one? Bruno. One. There we go, perfect. Well done, good boy, Bruno. So, as you can probably tell, this has been something I've been doing and has really helped me in his training just to get him to work. <laughs> And I'll tell you what, it has really helped him as well. Hopefully you guys have really enjoyed that little video on how I train my dogs and how I've got them from being basically little naughty <laughs> to being absolutely brilliant dogs that, you know, I can now trust in public, even off lead, which is absolutely brilliant. If you guys have enjoyed this video, click the like button, type a comment down below, hit the subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Till then. Bye-bye. That is a perfect entrance. <laughs> oh, yeah.